Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to explore differences between the var and let keywords. One of the biggest problems with declaring variables with a var keyword is that you can overwrite variable declarations without a warning. So here they've got, they're saving camper to as, they're, they're saving, saving the string of James to camper. And then here they're overriding it. And if you log it out, camper becomes David. And so what they're saying is we want a way to have the, our programs throw errors if we do this. This helps us write uh, more, uh, like a uh, re reliable code, I guess. As you can see in the code above, camper uh, variable is originally declared as James and then overridden to be David. In a small application, you might not run into this type of a problem, but when your code becomes larger, you might accidentally overwrite a variable that you did not intend to overwrite. Because this behavior does not throw an error, searching and fixing bugs becomes more difficult. A new keyword called LUT was introduced in ES6 to solve this potential issue with the var keyword. If you were to replace var with let in the, uh, in the variable declarations of the code above, the result would be an error. So if we were to say let camper equal the string of James, and then we were to say let camper equal David, we would throw an error. Let's look at that here. So if we go into our terminal and we go to node, um, and we go uh, let camper equals Ian, and then we say, so now camper is equal to Ian, right? Now, if we say let camper equal David, it throws a syntax error. Unidentified camper has already been declared. So that's what we want. Uh, this error can be seen in the console of your browser. So unlike var, when using let, a variable with the same name can be declared once. I'm going to make a little point here. I'm going to press command alt i and go into the console. Here I could run this exact same test. I could say um, in case you don't want to run node. So now we can see camper is equal to James. If we were to set camper equal to David here, it throws an uncaught syntax error. Identified camper has already been declared. So that just shows you, you can practice here in your console if you don't want to pull up your terminal window like I did. I'm going to close this for now. Um, the error can be seen in the console of your browser. So unlike var, when using let, a variable with the same name can only be declared once. Note that using use script, this enables strict mode, which catches common coding mistakes and unsafe actions. For, for instance, x is equal to 3.14. This throws an error because x is not declared. Okay, so use strict is, uh, I guess it just shows, if you were to go command shift i, go back into the console, let's say we say x, is equal to, no, 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 no. We want to say use strict. Okay, so apparently that sets it. So now what happens if we go x is equal to 3.14? Hmm, it works. Okay, I'm not really understanding what that means. Anyways, over here they want us to update the, co the code so it only uses the let keyword. Um, so we don't want var to be in there. And we see var is set here. Um, so we want to say let cat name. We want to say let quote name because var should not exist in the code. Cat name should be Oliver. Let's see, cat name is equal to Oliver. And then quote is equal to cat name plus says meow. And then so the quote is going to be equal to Oliver plus um, a space and then says meow. And so we run the test and we see that passes. Anyways, I hope going into a little bit more depth uh, was useful and we'll see you guys in the next lesson.